Are you considering buying a home this year and have thought about putting your tax refund towards a down payment? If you spend your dollars wisely, home ownership just might be closer than you think. That is what we're going to talk about today. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Angela Duong with Cobalt Banker to Our Realtors and MadHomeDutal.com. And if this is your first time coming to our channel, please go ahead and click the subscribe button down below and give us a thumbs up. The Internal Revenue Service has released data stating that Americans can expect an estimated average refund of $2,962 when filing their taxes this year. Taking a look at this map, you can see the average tax refund Americans received last year by state. As you can see, here in Utah, the average tax refund was $2,867 last year. The state with the lowest tax refund was Maine with an average refund of $2,452. The state with the highest tax refund was Texas with an average of $3,393. Let's go into the numbers a little bit deeper with the counties in our area. As you can see, tax refunds versus taxes owed in Box Elder County, the amount of people that received refunds was 17,760. How many people owed taxes was 4,380. The average refund was 2,613. And the average amount owed was 3,524. If we head over to Cache County, the amount of people that received was 38,470. The amount that owed taxes was 9,430. The average refund was 2,660 and the average amount owed was 4,852. And heading over to Weaver County, the amount of people that received refunds was 86,290. The amount that owed taxes was 21,860. The average refund received was 2,574 and the average owed was 3,977. A common misconception about home buying is that a 20% down payment is needed to buy a home. But this is far from true. Many first time home buyers can actually purchase a home with as little as 3% down. And in all reality, you can actually purchase a home with zero down when using loan types such as VA, USDA, and Utah Housing. How can your tax refund help you with buying a home? If you're a first time home buyer, your tax refund may cover more of a down payment than you've ever thought possible. If you take into the account the median home sales price by state, this map shows you the percentage of a 3% down payment that's covered by the average tax refund. The darker the blue, the closer your tax refund gets you to home ownership in one of these programs. Here you can see that Utah's average tax refund will cover 30% of a 3% down payment on the median home sales price. The state with the highest is Oklahoma, covering 65%, and Hawaii is the lowest, covering 15% of a 3% down payment. So what if you use a loan program that is zero down? If you find yourself using a zero down loan program, then that means your tax refund will help you in other ways towards home ownership. You can use it for the earnest money you agreed to in the offer. You can use it to cover the cost of a home inspection, which is usually around 300 to 500, depending on the package you choose. Or you may find you want to save it to help make some upgrades after your purchase or to furnish your home, buy some new couches or decor. Your tax refund can be used in so many ways towards buying a home. So as you can see, saving for a down payment can seem like a daunting task, but the more you know about what's required, the more prepared you'll be to make the decision for you and your family. This tax season, your refund could be your key to home ownership. Again, I'm Angela Duong with Cobalt Banker 2 Realtors and MadHomesUtah.com. And again, hit that subscribe button down below and give us a like and share this video with your friends and family that might find this useful. See you next time.